According to flat earth theory, gravity is not the main force keeping us on the ground. Instead, there is a force that produces identical effects as observed from the surface of the earth. This force is known as universal acceleration, abbreviated as UA. Objects on the Earth's surface have weight because all sufficiently massive celestial bodies are accelerating upward at the rate of 9.8 meters per second carat 2. The mass of the Earth is thought to shield the objects atop it from the direct force of UA. Alternatively, it is possible that the force of UA can actually pass through objects, but its effect on smaller bodies is negligible, similar to gravity in red cosmology which only has a noticeable effect on very large objects. However, not all flat Earth models dismiss the theory of gravity. The Davis model proposes that the Earth is an infinite plane exerting a finite gravitational pull, g, which is consistent with Gauss's law. If you start here, and you go around long enough in the same direction, you wind up in the place you started from. Yes, Thomas. Why don't we fall off when we walk underneath, Miss Sarah? Because of a force called gravity. What does gravity look like? Gravity is something we can't see. But we know it's a great invisible force that keeps us all here on Earth. It's a natural force that keeps us all from flying off into space. We were always told that the world is flat. You are told right. Don't listen to her. I've been patient with you, Sarah. One knows I've been patient, but now your words have revealed you. The law of gravity was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton in 1687. That's almost 200 years ago, Uncle Evan. But there is only one law. The law of God. What is gravity? You have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> Wow. No, here's the difference. We can describe gravity. Okay. We can say what it does to other things. We can... We can measure it, predict with it. But when you start asking, like, what it is, I, I, I don't know. Einstein, in an Einsteinian answer, we would say gravity is the curvature of space and time. And that, and objects will follow the curvature of space-time, and we we interpret that as a force of gravity. That's probably the best answer I can give to a what is gravity question. Well, why gravity is, is a hoax and everything is naturally arranged by density. If gravity is really a force strong enough to hold the world's oceans, buildings, people and atmosphere stuck to the surface of a spinning ball, then it is impossible for gravity to also simultaneously be weak enough to allow little birds, bugs, and planes to take off and travel freely unabated in any direction. If gravity is strong enough to curve the massive expanse of oceans around a globular Earth, it would be impossible for fish and other creatures to swim through such forcefully held water. Everything on our flat Earth is naturally arranged by density and mass. Gravity is only a theory and not a scientific fact. Gravity cannot be proven. As a theory, gravity can never be proven. Scientists admit this. No one has tested gravity on Jupiter. Gravity cannot be seen, heard, felt, tasted, or smelt. If gravity exists then, how do birds, bats, and insects fly? How do airplanes fly? Why do balloons float up? What makes a hot air balloon keep from falling from the sky? How do zeppelins or dirigibles float in the sky? How does a siphon work? If gravity is pulling everything to the center of the Earth, then, why aren't we and everything else crushed to the ground and pulled to the center of the Earth? Why hasn't the Moon, or for that matter the Sun and other planets, fallen into the Earth? You think this would be an obvious one. Gravity cannot exist. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share this video.